Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, then thank you so much for checking it out. And if you like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. So today I filmed this look for you guys. It was inspired by sunsets. Um, it's just very like purple and blue and just like reminds me of like Hawaii, even though I've never been to Hawaii. I absolutely love the way that it came out. I'm obsessed with it, so I really hope you guys enjoy it as well. Also, side note, um, I filmed this like three hours ago, and I wasn't able to film an intro or an outro because there was so much going on in my house that I couldn't get any peace and quiet. Uh, so that is why I look different here than I do in the video. Oh, and also I changed my lip color. In the video, I'm wearing something different, but I just want to let you know that I put on the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Color in Rose Macaron. So that's that um so yeah thank you once again for checking out my channel and for clicking on this video and if you do like what you see please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and comment down below say hi i would love to get to know you so thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next one bye uh, these lashes hurt so as you can see I already completed one eye and now we just have to move on to the other one. I am taking Peaches and Cream by Makeup Geek and I am putting this through the crease as my transition shade. Now I am taking Cupcake also by Makeup Geek on a smaller more defined crease brush and I am placing this all throughout my crease. I'm taking a bright magenta pink from a Coastal Scents palette that I created myself. And I'm taking this on a pointed crease brush and I am really just focusing this in the socket of my eye. I'm taking the Nubian 2 by Juvia's Place, taking this nice cobalt blue shade with a lot of shimmer and I am placing this all over my lid, making sure to take my time really packing this on. This shadow is dry, I did not wet my brush at all and it is absolutely stunning. taking a clean fluffy blending brush and just making sure that all of my edges are blended and now I'm taking this purple from the Morphe 35P palette I'm sorry that was a terrible shot of the color you will see it again later on but I'm just taking this on a pointed crease brush and again focusing this in my crease under the pink but above the blue so kind of right in the middle and I'm really just blending this out making sure that it is nice and diffused you're going to see me kind of going back and forth between colors and that's just because once you put one color on and then blend some of it kind of gets blended away and you have to keep building it up so I just kind of build it up blend add more color blend until I have the intensity that I wanted now I'm taking White Lies by Makeup Geek. It's just a stark white and I'm just placing this on my brow bone to lift my brow a bit. And now I'm taking a black shade by Makeup Geek and I am just placing this in my outer V with a smaller pointed brush. Just making sure to really pack this on to intensify that outer corner. Here I am just cleaning up the outer edge and any fallout that may have fallen onto my cheek. And now I'm just putting on some liner and lashes and I did this off camera and now we are ready to get started with the face. So I am priming with the NYX Angel Veil Primer. It has quickly become one of my, I would say, top three favorite primers. It is just so good at smoothing out your skin and really filling in your pores and making sure that your foundation has a really nice base to go on. my Tarte Maracuja Oil with my Urban Decay All Nighter Matte Full Coverage Foundation. Not quite sure what the actual name is. I will have that listed down below. But on its own, this foundation is way too matte for my skin. However, even with this oil, I still found that it was really cakey on my skin. 
So if my skin looks cakey, I do apologize. It was just very heavy, but if you have really, really oily skin, I feel like this would work well for you, but as I have combination, it really just does not. So I'm just trying to use it up at this point, but I'm just blending this all over my skin with the Eco Tools blending brush, really making sure to be careful along the outer edges of my eyes to make sure that I don't mess up my liner or my shadow. Now it is time to conceal. I'm taking my Catrice concealer and I'm mixing it with my Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm putting the Catrice underneath my eyes and then the Tarte Shape Tape in the center of my face just to highlight and bring light to that area of my face. And once again, I am blending everything out with my Eco Tool sponge, which is amazing by the way. shade and I am just setting this underneath my eyes and anywhere else that I put my concealer. powder foundation. I am setting this all over the rest of my face with a huge brush from It's Cosmetics and I'm just making sure that everything looks okay and in this clip I was noticing how kiki my skin looked. Probably should have skipped the powder but oh well. Now I am bronzing the outer portions of my face with this bronzer by Pure Cosmetics. I don't really like to do a harsh contour, so I just like to bring a little bit of warmth back to my cheeks. I also like to take my bronzer on my forehead just to add some warmth there as well. And then I believe I will also bring it on my jawline to make sure that there are no harsh lines between my face and my neck. Now I'm taking the powder that I used to set my under eyes and my concealer and I'm just using that to clean up my bronzer a little bit to make sure it's not too messy. And now I'm going in with blush. This is Exposed by Tarte, one of my favorites. And I'm just putting this on the apples of my cheeks, blending up towards my temples. Now here's a better clip of that purple that I used earlier. I'm taking this on a flat definer brush and I'm just pressing this up along my lower lash line. taking the pink that we used and I'm putting this underneath the purple just to kind of diffuse it and smoke it out a little bit more. And here 
around taking beaches and cream and just taking this on a little fluffy brush and blending the lower lash line even more just to make sure it is nice and diffused. And now I'm just kind of touching up the color on the upper lid. Once you have liner and lashes on, it's really easy to see where you might be lacking, where you need to fix. Um, so that's just what I'm doing now, adding some more black, adding some more pink, and yeah, just blending it all out. Now it's time for mascara. I'm just putting this on my lashes, both upper and lower. This is the Makeup Geek collaboration with Kathleen Lights. I'm taking that middle shade. It is a pink champagne type of highlight and I'm just putting this in all the normal areas and it is absolutely beautiful. I love, love, love this palette. I'm also taking this on the inner corners of my eyes just to bring a little bit of sparkle to that area. And now I'm just misting my face with my Wet n Wild setting spray. Once I set my face, I really like to go back in with my highlight just to intensify it even more. I know that's a little extra, but just what I like to do. But you know, do whatever you prefer. This is just my preference. And now I'm going with my lip color. I believe this is Sao Paulo by Ofra. I will leave that down below. However, as you saw in my intro, I did end up changing my lip color, which I stated in the intro. So I will have that listed down below as well, but you could totally do either or. I just didn't really love this liquid lipstick on me. I found that it was a little patchy. But that is it, you guys. This is the completed look. I really hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!